The mild weather and lack of ice wasn't enough to keep everyone from participating in today's Sturgeon Spearing opener. In a first alert update, Jamal James shows us some of the excitement at a local registration station. On a day where warnings were posted about the dangers of being on thin ice, the Sturgeon Spearing opener was off to a slow start at Curtis Wolf River Sports in Winnicottie. However, things did pick up as some spearmen refused to sit on the sidelines. Wow, I gotta change the line. <laughs> One of the first to be brought in, weighing in at 27 pounds. Yeah, I just got lucky enough to have it come in and sitting on bottom feeding and just got lucky that it came in. Eventually, more sturgeon were brought in, with some weighing over 100 pounds. It is 104.3 pounds. I've only speared one my life, you know, and it was 35 pounds, so this is a little bit of an upgrade for me. It's still unreal. Uh, it'll kick in soon. Others were just happy not to leave empty-handed. This is my third fish I've ever gotten, my biggest out of all three. I was sitting with my cousin, and it came through, could barely see the head, and I just took a shot and ended up getting it. Still, there were plenty of concerns about thin ice, and staying safe. I was kind of confident that we had good ice to get to where I would needed to be and uh, yeah it, it managed to hold up for me. It is definitely by far the scariest year I've been out there. We we're pretty smart with how we went out, took our time, we're safe. We we're out yesterday scouting and everything so I mean just stay away from open water and check as you go. Reporting in Winnicani, Jamal James, Action 2 News. As a precaution, Nina Menasha Fire Rescue has set out movable barriers at all of their launch areas this weekend. They say the barrier will let the public know of the compromised ice conditions that may be susceptible to breakthroughs. Those breakthroughs may happen under the weight of heavy vehicles. Both local and regional authorities are strongly advising all people intending to go out on the ice to be extra careful amid this mild wet weather. Nina Menasha officials recommend that before you go out on the ice to look at updated and accurate information regarding current ice conditions from trustworthy sources.